think this could be good for daytime though. Yeah. Right? Yeah. It does feel a little Do bit. Do you feel like this for maybe the museum? The museum. It feels for like sure. a little bit more. No, this is definitely like a daytime yeah. situation. Yeah. I feel like it'd be really cheap for the museum. Mm. White? Like white for yeah, sure. Yeah, right? The blue is kind of Yeah, it's kind of like. See the vision. Right? So cute. Chill. Love. Here we go. Boom. Like Stop. Okay. Stop. All right. All right. <laughs> You know, this is literally like a dream come true. Like I can't I can't fathom this right now, but this is just wild. Wild. So I'm here at Chanel's headquarters in New York um, for a fitting. I have been invited by them to go to Paris and I'm just very, very excited to be joining them for this. And yeah, I'm excited to bring you guys along as well because this is insane to me. Um, I'm literally just so over the moon right now. So yeah, we're now in the fitting room trying on pieces and things that I'll wear while we're in Paris at the um, events and activities that we'll be doing there together. Um, and yeah, Chanel, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. This, this is crazy. Y'all, this is crazy. Me, this is me we talking about. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is wild. So, no, I'm just really, really excited. They have pulled these really beautiful pieces from me. We have narrowed down um, some looks and um, some jackets and jewelry and bags and again this is <sighs> yeah this is great I love you chase your dreams chase your dreams because again none of this was written for me I hope it like none of this was written for me so it me being here in this capacity in this moment means so much and again, I'm just excited to share this moment with y'all because it deserves it. It really deserves it. So yes, all right, bye. my flight is at 10 40 however i'm leaving mine at 7 p.m so that gives me like six hours to edit these photos pack and then run to grab my camera um and then i also i think i'm seeing lev he flies in today around two i think i mentioned that um he flies in today around two so i definitely want to spend some time with him before i fly out just because i haven't seen him in some time and then yeah but the packing process i think should be easy because the majority of my looks are chanel which are already like that's what the fitting was for and then i'll grab some of my own personal pieces just to make sure that i'm warm and comfy and yeah i saw a tweet and i think it was actually from sizza but she talks about how i think it was essentially grieving people that are very much so still alive but are no longer really a part of your life for whatever reason that may be. It's a very interesting thing that I think becomes a lot more complex, obviously, as you become an adult, but it's also like 
I remember when I was a kid and I had to stop being friends with my absolute best friend. And I'll never forget that gut-riching feeling of almost like a heartbreak. Um, and I think again, as you grow and as you become an adult and you experience things with people and you experience things with people that you think that you're gonna know for your entire life and life just takes you in a different path, I think, and you start to value different things within friendships and relationships and maybe them the same. And it allows you to kind of look at what you deem as a necessity within a friendship. And I don't think there's anything wrong with that, but it is pretty complex of a feeling to try to navigate at times. Um, yeah, more so again, I feel like we all can relate to this. So anybody that has graduated high school, that is now in college, that maybe moved away from home, or whatever the case is, thinking about that one friend or group of friends that you thought that you would have for the rest of your life. And the reality of it is that you may very well no longer be in connection with them, probably within that same way or at all. And I don't know, it's just a really interesting thing. Again, I don't think it's a horrible thing. I think it shows growth, but for me personally, it's a growth that I'm still learning to adapt to, if that makes sense. Um, but I don't know, in my eyes, I continue to pray and truly wish the best for anybody that I've ever experienced that served a season in my life that I grew it from, that I learned a lot from. And I thank them for providing me with whatever tools they did while we were in each other's lives. So yeah, just something I thought about. We're going to edit these photos for a little bit. I'm then going to pick up my space and tidy up. I like coming home from traveling and then yeah, head out for a little bit, come back, grab my bags, go to the airport and fly to Paris. This is crazy. All right. Um, yeah. I hope you're well. I'll talk to you soon.
I think this is my first time actually sitting down in this apartment, kind of like filming. Not bad, but just very, very different than obviously what I've been used to. Um, but hi, hello. It is the morning of the following day from what you all just saw. I have <laughs> been traveling so much and I was in Paris and I came back to probably like seven different packages, went back and came back um, and received some more packages and it's a lot of holiday gifting from um, brands and friends and such so I thought I'd just kind of like sit down and go through those with you guys and just sit down and touch base see how we're all doing check in um, I'm very excited because today as well I have a task rabbit coming to install the Danish teak shelf that um, I got all of the pieces have arrived everything is ready set um, so 4 30 p.m. today it's a bit heavy. I'm not thinking about this. Where am I going to sit? Let me switch cameras because this one is about to die. Um, so, yes. So I don't really have anything specific that I want to talk about. I would love to get some insight from you all as kind of my soundboard, if you will, on something that I've been thinking about recently. I'm just gonna open this first. Whoa! <gasps> Wait, this is so chic. What is this? Is this what I... Wow, that's crazy. This is a wall. You guys can see this. This is so chic. Like, I don't smoke, but I'm just gonna have this in my bag. <laughs> Nonetheless, uh, whoa, this is so cool. Um, thank you. Something that I have been thinking about recently, I feel like something that I do and something that I want to understand more of is I feel like I seek validation within that of community. Um, and I feel like I've had this conversation with some friends before and like some people that I know and people that know me. Um, it's a true thing for me that I value community. I value the people that I'm around. I, invite, I value those that are around me. And I think that clouds my judgment on the way that I validate myself. It's something that doesn't oftentimes feel the best, especially when you're meeting new people or when you're encountering people that you have known for a very long time or whatever the case is. I don't know why. Like I find myself often asking people's opinion on things that I fully know the answer to myself. I find myself seeking a sense of validation, not as a sense of like, um, putting me on a pedestal, but more so affirming me and my beliefs and my decisions. When in theory, I didn't get to this place in my life waiting on people or waiting to be affirmed by people. So it's like, why am I seeking that now? That's something that I'm just so curious about. And it's something that I don't want to beat myself up over because that would not be fair to myself and I'm not gonna do that. However, it is something that I want to correct 
um, because it's something that does not make me feel good and it's not fair to the other people as well, to the other person, to this sense of community. And the way that I've also thought about it is like, I feel that community is going to come to me regardless. If I am truly doing exactly what I love, if I if I try my best to always do my best and if I, you know, surround myself with with things that make me feel good, I think community has no option but to follow suit within that quest. Um, so I don't know. It's just like, why am I then seeking? I don't know. I, I, I hope some of this makes sense. <laughs> like I'm hoping any of this makes sense. Because again, it's like, these are thoughts that I've had bottled up in my head that I have not been able to fully articulate. And just being a young person in general today, I find myself seeking community for reasons that are validating rather than fulfilling, I feel like. Um, because that validation is fleeting. You get it in that one moment and it's kind of like, it's gone. What I want to shift that feeling of validation from is a sense of fulfillment in the moment. And I think validating my existence. Validating me in ways that are so substantial rather than an in the moment thing. If any of that makes sense. I hope it does. Okay, just a, <laughs> just a thought. Um, next gift is from Fendi. Thank you so much. What is this? It's giving either a bag or shoes. Fendi's quality is also just so beautiful. Happy holiday. Happy holidays, y'all. Y'all, I'm leaving to go back home on Thursday and I'm so excited. I'm just gonna spend time with my granny. Best wishes for this holiday season. Thank you. Wait, this is so cool too. Y'all, I'm a sucker for packaging. Also, I keep all of these. I hope y'all know. Note. Thank you for your ongoing support of Fendi this past year. Our wishes for a joyful holiday season and that you enjoy this gift of gratitude. We look forward to continuing our partnership and wishing you all the success in the new year. XOXO, Jess and your Fendi family. Thank you, Jess. Thank you for everyone at Fendi. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Whoa! Wait, these are so cute! Wow! It's not like a maroon. It's like a maroon chocolate. These are so sick. Also, these look... I was wearing a shoe that had this like felt and I literally had the felt. I was like, I wish more shoes had this felt in, in, inside. Ask and you shall receive, y'all. Oh my god, these are so sick. Thank you. Okay, but this sweater is beautiful. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm seeing this like I didn't select these pieces myself, but still, like I haven't seen them. Per this is so beautiful. Ugh, the scarf. Come on. Come on. Y'all, I'm gonna be warm all winter. Love. I'm also becoming a button up guy. I never used to wear button ups like. I don't know. It was just some, I don't know what it was necessarily. But now, I love it. Yes, I need a black blazer. For some odd reason, I did not have a black, this is also, quality is so nice. I didn't have a black blazer for the longest time because I got rid of the one that I had because of, not ill-fitting, it just didn't fit me great. So I was like, I want something that I love. And I went through a huge closet purge and now I'm getting blazers that I love. And I, have, I think I have two now, this one and I have one more. <laughs> Um, as you all saw in this video, I went on a trip with Chanel. Kind of let me dive into that a little bit. The trip was basically a celebration of Chanel fragrance through an exhibition that they had in Paris. It was beautiful. Far and beyond any like immersive experience I think I have ever had within a brand trip. Um, and it was just so beautiful to see the, the foundation of each individual, you know, star of the house when it comes to fragrance. It was just gorgeous, absolutely divine. Um, uh, it was just so good. But yeah, I came home to this package so beautifully wrapped from Chanel. And I wonder what is inside. Oh my gosh. Is this the... Monsieur Dion Henson. One thing about it, I love the team at Chanel. From beauty to fashion to literally anybody that I have encountered at the Chanel team, adore. Adore. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I think that is 
is so important, like, to actually enjoy the people that you work with, especially imagine what are the dream brands that you truly enjoy working with that is truly iconic and the things that they have done, have created, have fostered within the community of fashion. Imagine them also being some of the sweetest and kindest, funniest people you have ever met. Imagine that. Wow. Wow. Stop, wait, no, 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 because I'm feeling something. Wait, wait, who, wait, wait a minute. I'm sorry, wait, no, because I have a meeting at a coffee shop to go to, like I'm late, I'm running behind. Wait, this is crazy. No, wait, y'all, this is crazy. Y'all wanna know why this is crazy? When, <laughs> when I was in Paris at the exhibition, on the walls, they had a pouch literally this pouch and i was like that would be so sick you know what i mean like it was like it's nothing too big but it's like it's very chic it's very timeless and i was like oh my gosh like that would be so cool a fleeting thought nothing thinking yes nothing of it why did i just come home to it i didn't even mention it to anybody i literally told no one that was in i i had that meeting in my head with my committee you know what i'm saying like me and my team up there we was like, stop Gorgeous. Just gorgeous. Wow. iPad, journal, book, phone, chapstick, love. You know what I mean? I love that for me. Wow. What is in here? It's come to my to my attention that I need to get a Christmas tree. Do I take these back home with me to Arkansas to give to my granny too? I'm gonna give her two of them. Oh, she ain't gonna know how to act. I'm telling y'all, my granny not. Oh, she not gonna know how to act. Oh my god. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Take this off. You got you a little briefcase. You got you a little lunchbox. You know what I'm saying? Wow. The bigger, the bigger thing is, and I can't stress this enough, none of this ever gets old to me, ever. And I wouldn't want it any other way. I wouldn't, you know what I mean? Like, to this day, no matter what is received, and again, these, like, this is love. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, this is just like, I'm not gonna cry, but y'all, I wish y'all really knew for real, like where I came from, because like, again, I, at one point in time in my life when I was a kid, we went through Christmases where I didn't get a single thing, like nothing. You know what I mean? Like there was Christmases where I, my family could not afford to get me gifts. So I went Christmases without presents. And like, again, shit happens. And again, it's like that also instilled in me the beauty that material things are not everything. You know what I'm saying? In my eyes at that time, I'm healthy. You know, my, we're, we're able to pay rent. We're able to eat food. You know, I have clothes on my back. It could be worse. That's the way I always saw it. Um, but still as a kid, that does something to you, you know? So again, this, none of it is taken lightly ever and it never will be. And I'm not even finished going through all these packages and this is just, this is crazy to me. I want to make sure that I continue to instate and address that me showing this is not a sense of gloating, not a sense of boastfulness, but out of a sense of showing what is possible and showing the love for the people that I have worked with this year, for the brands that have believed in me, that have seen something in me. Um, and me to grasp that I'm deserving of this and not out of a sense that you have to have this you don't have to have any of these things to be deemed as worthy as cool as important as as whatever you know these things of luxury 
are not the sole defining object of luxury. Luxury looks different for everybody, and I'm just here to share my experience. So, in that, <laughs> I'm gonna go cry. I'm probably definitely gonna go cry right now. But um, I'm gonna finish going through these boxes, um, call my mom, and I will check back in once the task rabbit comes to set up this shelf for me. So, I love you, and I'll talk to you.